Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about building a mega menu in SharePoint 2013. If you're building an intranet, in general, you'll get into this discussion, I promise you, or your intranet site will grow into this mammoth because it's so successful implementation when it's built on SharePoint 2013, of course. So you'll have a lot of links in the top menu here, and you have a lot of content, and you will think about, you know, how am I going to get from one point to another? How am I going to increase the discoverability of my site in general? And my recommendation would be to just keep it simple. Just go to search. Have Where are you now? I'm in the HR site. And then go to the search. If you want to find something else, search for it. That's how Google works. If you remember Alta Vista sites, that was a big list of all the sites that existed in the world. It worked for a while in the beginning of the internet, but it rather quickly fell down. Google does work though, or Bing does work, because uh, you can search for anything there. You don't have a big directory of everything, but you have a searchability. So focusing on the search is a really good idea. But if you want to have a mega menu or have lots of links all over the place, I will show you how to make that manageable. As you see, I have the search link here in my top navigation. I also have a link to Kamsen.com and to Microsoft, and I have links to Project 1 and Project 2. And of course, this still looks manageable, it still looks normal, but once we get into the Project 10, you'll notice that this will no longer work at all. So what I would recommend doing in this context, if you want to have the mega menu, is to edit links and then add more links. Sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it, when I want to have less clutter up there. But I'm going to do one called external, or just links is a good idea. And I won't put an address in there. And then I'm going to do another one called projects, and I won't put an address in that either. And then I'm just going to drag and drop these, the links. Sometimes it helps to just save first, and then try it again. So as you see, it's a bit tricky to get things to move the way you want. No, what I was trying to do here, of course, is to drag and drop these. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So instead, I'm going to get the navigation. And now I can build my mega menu. Let's delete this one and make a heading there instead. Call it projects. And now, of course, I can move the subsites under projects here, like that. I can remove that link there, I can remove that link there, and I do need to uh, remake these sites because now they're headings, they're not links, so I need to add them again. I'm going to open that link in a new window, that's also a benefit you get from that. And let's uh, move that down now under the links, and let's add another link there, and I'm going to open that in a new window also. can remove those links that are no longer links. There we go. So now I have search, links, and projects. Now when I click OK here, you'll notice that this looks um, exactly like I wanted. I want the search, and I want the links, and I want the projects there. All right, so I've built a mega menu, which is, of course, much more scalable than just having more and more links here in the navigation. I, however, would recommend not building mega menus like this, but instead having everyone go to the search. You know, how do you find other things? You search for it. And that's the, the message that the internet should really be about, in my opinion. But here I've shown you the technical way of doing it. I try to do it with a drag and drop, and that generally works, but now I get it done via the navigation link. Thank you for watching this demonstration.